We got a new massive proposal here from the Terra Rebel team. We have to check this out because this can change the future of Terra Luna Classic. Let's go. So here we are, core market cap. Right now, the market cap here for Terra Classic is at 600 and almost 60 million dollars here we're still at 0.001 and the volume is at 72 million so the volume they go down astronomically here we're only at 72 million if you do remember we had a lot bigger volume before but still we are stabilizing as you can see if you check out the last seven days basically we've been just stabilizing sideways not too many big moves and we're still above that one number here we didn't go below that zero so we have this video where the terrible team is talking about basically the new proposal so saying here luna classic as terror rebels a huge update new proposal explain TFL has 10 days to respond, so this is explained. Check out the video, guys, for yourself. Do watch it and really understand what's happening here. But this here is a proposal. So, proposal for distribution of code for proposal 3568 for the 1.2 transaction burn and 44095 re enabling delegation and staking. So, summary here. This proposal gives governance, which includes validators, a path of distribution of code that has been developed for proposal 3568 for the 1.2 transaction burn and for the 4095 re-enabled delegation and staking, both of which pass governance votes. The proposal only delays, only deals with the distribution of the code and the code itself and a security proposal recording code for 4095. So, disclaimer here, while I have contributed to aspects of the Terra Rebel community, this proposal is being submitted personally as a fellow member of the Terra Terra version 1 governance committee. So this is the proposal description. So in accordance with the Terra governance, the proposal is being created to distribute code for proposal 3568. So like I said, the 1.2 transaction burn and the staking in delegation. The Terra version 1 governance community, which includes validators, must decide the appropriate trusted distribution path for the code for those two proposals. This proposes the following distribution path for this code listed in these uh, repositories. So these different ways so minus any minor adjustments to the block height to meet agreements stated in proposal 4095 or any minor adjustments required for due diligence review rework or testing on the part of the independent reviewer the code being proposed minus any minor adjustments can be seen below these are the codes here. you can check for yourself basically it says it is proposed that tfl either develop a novel solution or support a proposed implementation of the proposal 3568-4095 if tfl does not provide any communication and does not merge build and distribute the code in support of 3568 and 4095 in 10 day business days from the time this proposal may process governance else it is proposed that uh, code zero version 0521 will be distributed to validators from the following repository this one over here and the build instructions will be provided in this document source for validators including support contact information as seen here the following outline steps were done to ensure due diligence for code review security and testing you can check it out if you do want so security here you can check it out for yourself like i said it is proposed that the code added for 4095 which uh although means the essence of 040 4095 and provides for preventive security be approved that no validator should achieve more than 25 percent of the voting power for the first 60 days if this proposal should pass then uh, this person here that mentioned that the block height for the evocation of 3568 and the 4095 is over almost 9 million here approximately august 12 2022 the block height is subject to change if required by a validator's adoption for independent review and people are super excited about this people are just super excited about what this what's happening here because they're trying to like these guys are trying to distribute the code and they want approval here from the community and of course from uh, tfl actually so tfl has a thing that they need, they need to do so we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that like i said you have the video here you can check the full video where they do, where they do explain everything about it so that's super duper interesting so it says here another exchange is executing luna classic 3568 burn tax this could be huge so wi-fi exchange will burn so yeah this wi-fi basically exchange is enabling the burn which is absolutely amazing i want to talk about this so fat man posts here saying what main 
What made Luna and USD magical were their real-world use cases. So Chai, USD borrowing, adoption in Korea, a director at Timasek, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So Singapore 400 billion sovereign wealth fund agreed in October 2021 that the company isn't dumb money. But we know how these how these use cases had been heavily and clearly spoofed. So yeah, this guy here, Thomas, basically saying here, uh, a blockchain ecosystem that is not just LPs and farms, but real world use cases. So yeah, big things, just big things happening here. Absolutely insane. Like finally, if this proposal passes, we're gonna see the tax updates. We're gonna have the tax burn here implemented on the code, but if Terra uh, TFL actually doesn't do anything, that's going to be a huge problem because then everybody here, we're not going to be able to enable the burn as we should. So TFL has to help us somehow fix this thing right now to actually implement the burn, to actually implement the new code. So if they don't, then it's just not fair. It's just absolutely not fair because how is it decentralized if those guys who made who basically made the coin doesn't you they don't want it to prosper they don't want it to go up like that's absolutely insane to me to think about that that those guys like actually not helping out like them not helping out is like the worst thing that can happen but we're gonna see we're gonna see what's gonna happen to terra luna in the end here the whole crypto market is still stabilizing ever since the ethereum like surge we've been just stabilizing to the sideways also here for the exact same thing here for bitcoin a, a nice price surge but again huge stabilization not too many big moves here happening exact same thing here for terra luna still above the 0 0.01 area but we are sometimes dipping into below that area and that is the biggest problem here because there's a chance here that we could break down but all depends on crypto and all depends on the news in the next couple of days here so hopefully we're going to see some big moves here and hopefully those moves are going to be to the upside and not to the downside but we're going to see we're going to see still a lot of things going to happen here like i did show you guys my triangles here basically pretty 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 close here to the edge of everything and the end or the start of terra luna classic so we're going to see we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So it says he participate in our Luna Classic buyback and burn. So BBB initiative. So this is what Next Global is a new competition basically saying here. Next Global X participate in our Luna Classic buyback and burn initiative. So a limited time event exclusively for Vegas Morph Terra Rebels. So Terra Rebels, let's go. During the event period, only users who register now with Next Global. Uh, through the unique page and trade will be eligible to participate. Click on the buttons below to create an account and join the initiatives. It's going to last here for 31 days. That's awesome to see here. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's see what's going to happen here. Like I said, 1.2 transaction burn is also happening here to USD. That's just amazing. Absolutely amazing to see. Let's see, when Bitcoin breaks $25,000, then Luna Classic will be at 0.00014 and USDC. Uh, at 0 0.05 so basically five cents here what do you guys think is this going to be true is this something that's going to happen here in the future we had some pumping here before also terra rebels july steering group meeting x luna classic recovery so you can check out the meeting if you do want so this is the full video in the end guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into these coins please do your own research first hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did it means so much for me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video